Well, hey there, cowboys and cowgirls. It's me, Cowboy Jack. Today, I've got Cowboy Caden's baseball bat with me and my favorite old baseball glove. Why would I have those things? Wait a second, take a look at where we're at. That's right. We're here at No Limit Cages in Montgomery, Texas. We've got batting cages, a pitcher's mount, all kinds of cool things to check out. Everything baseball right inside one building. You guys wanna go check it out with me? Come on, let's go. Boy, I absolutely love baseball. It's my favorite sport of all. Let's get in here and check this place out. Wow. Now wait till we go through this door. These are brand new state-of-the-art batting cages. There is so much to see and do, and we're gonna check all of it out. All of their machines work kind of like an arcade. You get a little card and you can tap it, and then you tell this machine how fast you want the ball to go. Whether you wanna hit a baseball or a softball, it's really cool. All right, now real quick, when you go to a batting cage, I want everybody to have a great time, but also be safe. That's why they have these warnings out here. One of the rules that they have is you only swing bats in cages. There's gonna be a lot of people standing out here outside of the cage, you know, getting ready for their turn to go in and swing. And you wouldn't wanna swing a bat out here because it's not safe, there's too many people around. So only swinging in there. And of course you need to wear a helmet on your head. I'm not gonna be able to wear my cowboy hat. At... Wait a second, are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, let me put my hat back on, but we'll get a helmet in just a second so we can be extra safe. Now, before we start swinging, let's go in here and check this thing out. Wow, this is so cool. It's just like being on a baseball field, see? Here's home plate, and that's the pitcher down there. Now, they have two different levels. You can pitch, you can bat from up close, and this would be when you're doing slower pitches or even some faster pitches. And then back there, that's, that's when you're hitting a little bit farther, more like high school or junior high baseball but you come up here, you get ready, and I'll show you in just a minute, there's a light over there that lets you know when the ball's coming, and then kaplooey! <laughs> it is so much fun, we're gonna have a blast. All right, so here we go. This is my No Limit Cages Batters card, and you use this, like I said, just like an arcade, so I'm gonna tap it there, it makes a really cool noise, and then you tell it what you wanna do. So I'm gonna tell it I wanna do baseball, and I'm gonna use the back plate and let's do fastballs, that'll be fun. Now you can select all these different mileages on your ball, how fast it's going. It goes all the way from 35 miles an hour to 70 miles an hour, that's super duper fast. Let's just check out and see what it looks like at 35 miles an hour. And let's select a number for the strike zone. I like them a little bit high, let's go with number three. And I'm gonna push play ball. Now guys, Ooh, we better close this door. If you look down there, there's a light lighting up on that machine. And that's giving you time to get ready. It'll blink that way for about 60 seconds so you get in place. And then it'll let you know when the ball's coming. Woo! There it goes. Look at that. See how it's throwing that ball out of the machine? That is so cool. And every time you can tell when the ball's coming because that red light at the end changes color. It gets brighter when the ball's about to come. Now, if you wanna go back here, we can actually take a look at the machine and see how it works. Come on guys, let's go take a look at behind the scenes of how this machine actually throws the baseballs. All right guys, now we're behind the scenes. You would never come back here when it's actually working, but we're being very careful. We know exactly where to stand. So this machine is about to throw a baseball out of there. And you get to see that right up close. And see it's blinking red. It's about to come. Whew. Did you guys see how fast that was? That was crazy. And so if you look right here, you'll see there's a plate that spins around in there and it grabs a baseball. Once it grabs that baseball, when it's time, it'll drop it down this clear chute right here and the ball will run through, let's watch it. There it goes. And then it goes into those spinning wheels and launches out there. Isn't that cool? Take a look at this hopper again. This hopper is so cool how it grabs the baseballs. See, this is an automatic fed pitching machine. 
Sometimes pitching machines will just be those wheels and a coach or somebody will drop the ball in there for you. This one does it automatically. How cool is that? Wow. And see, we also do softball here. If you don't play baseball and you play softball, it would look like this. This, these balls are a little bit bigger and they, they can go just as fast. It's really fun to watch. Now, see the same concept. Woo, this thing is moving around. Look at that. Now, here it goes. See that plate in there is gonna spin around. Drop the ball. Whoa, there goes a softball. That thing was going so fast. And see, if you look down here, you can see these wheels are spinning really fast and they have to do that so they launch these baseballs. That's why we would never ever want to stand in front of this until we're ready to hit and we're in the proper safety gear. This was so cool. Looking at it up close like this, I don't know if I could hit these balls. They sure are moving fast. Wow, that was so fun. I absolutely love getting to see these machines move and how they how intricate they are and how they work it's so much fun but i don't want to just look at the machine i want to see how my hitting skills are you know it's been a long time since i've swung a bat and it's a skill that you have to work on to get better at it's just like practice makes perfect you you're never that great at something the first time you do it you have to work at it just like riding a bicycle let's go see if i can pull it off or not come on guys all right now before i can go in and actually do some hitting of my own i need to get my safety gear on right so the most important thing to protect when you're playing baseball is of course your head. So I'm gonna take my cowboy hat off. Are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, let me put this helmet on. Ooh, there we go, there we go. Now, how does that look? And of course, you're gonna need a bat. So I have cowboy Caden's bats with me and all these bats are very different. The bat that Caden uses right now is a 24 inch bat. And that's, that's perfect for like a five-year-old, maybe a six-year-old. We also have this 26-inch bat, and that one's for a little bit bigger kids. But I'm gonna borrow a bat they have here. It's a little bit bigger for big kids like me. This one's a 30-inch. So I'm just gonna hang Caden's bats up right here. Look at that, there's a holder. And like we talked about, we don't swing them when we're outside of the cages. We can only swing them when we're inside the cages. So before I turn the machine on, I thought I'd go in here and take a couple practice cuts. You guys wanna come with me? Come on in here, don't be shy. We're about to have some baseball fun. So, you know, one of the legends of baseball was Babe Ruth. And one of his most famous moves is when he'd go up to the plate, he'd go like this. And that was him calling his shot. He was saying, I'm gonna hit this hard and far. I'm gonna hit a home run. And so that was really cool. I'm gonna do that right out there. And so you come up to the plate, you get your feet right, your hands good, your hands on the bat just like this. Now, I'm no baseball coach. I'm just going from memory of what I know. But you come up here and then boom, and see how good you can hit it. And you swing just as hard as you can. You wanna follow all the way through because if you, a lot of, when, when I coach Little League, I would notice a lot of kids will stop their swing right here when they hit the ball. You lose all of your power when you do that. You wanna swing all the way through and back around. It is so cool. but. Here I am talking about all these things. Let's see if I can actually do it. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get ready. And I see the machine is warming up, so I've got plenty of time to get loose. Whew, I don't wanna crowd the plate. Now, you guys think I'll hit the first one? I don't know. Only one way to find out. Ooh, I was a little bit close on that one. I felt that one in my hands. Whoops, maybe these balls don't stop. You gotta be ready. Ooh, that's a foul tip. I heard it, you heard it too. Ooh, wow, hit that one right on my knuckles. There we go. Now we're cooking. Ooh. See, and that's why we wear a helmet because we never know where that ball's gonna go. 
All right, let me get ready. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, this baseball stuff isn't as easy as I thought it was. There we go. Wow, that was really cool. And that was a 35 mile an hour pitch. So if I was playing like with my skill set and my age, with players of my age, they'd probably be throwing a little bit faster than that. Here we go, these pitches are 45 miles an hour. That's a little bit faster. And we scooted back some too. I better stop talking and start swinging. Here we go. Woo! Wow! Ooh, strike! <laughs> Ooh, strike again. I think it's the cowboy boots. Oh! Wow, this is really tough. See, baseball is something you have to practice and try a whole lot. It doesn't come naturally. It's not something we know from birth. We have to take our time, patience, and repetition. Woo! All right, that was so fun. Now, another thing you can do is come in here and work on your catching skills. Oh, look at that. See, I've got my glove on, and I'm gonna just work and make sure I know how to catch these balls. That's really fun. You always wanna watch the ball all the way into your glove. See? Oh, there it is. You think that was the big out for the game? I don't know. Wow. And see these machines, especially on like a rainy day or if it's cold and wet outside, you can come in here and practice all your skills, not just hitting, but even catching. And I'm catching these softballs, which are a lot bigger than a regular baseball. See how it fits into my glove? That is so cool. Now, not only can you bat and catch here, but you can also work on your pitching. Do you guys see where I'm standing right here? This is the pitcher's room. And I've got a few baseballs over here. I always wanted to be a pitcher. It takes really serious focus and con control and just a lot of concentration. So it's a, it's a very important part because you wanna try to throw the ball to where the batter can't hit it. And it's really tough. I mean, look how far away that back plate is. That's really far, but that's the game of baseball, right? So, it's been a long time since Cowboy Jack has thrown a pitch, but let's give it the old college try and see how it goes. All right, I'm watching the catcher. He was telling me to throw a curveball. He was telling me to throw a splitter. I don't even know how to throw a splitter. Fastball. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna take a wind up and launch it. Oh, wow, that was almost a strike. Let's do that again, that felt good. Whew, all right. Ooh, yeah! Now watch that plate down there and you can see where I throw it, if it's good or bad. Ooh, inside corner, that was perfect. Now, I may not be the best pitcher, the best batter, the best catcher, but I love the game of baseball. There's always something fun to do, and there's always stuff to learn. You guys think I could juggle three of these? I probably can't, but it's worth a shot, right? All right, here we go. Whew. Okay, well, I tried. All right, now I've had fun warming up my arm. Now they put a target down there for me. You see the ball sitting on that tee? I'm gonna see if I can hit that off of the tee. That's a really small target to try and hit, but if we never try to test ourselves, then we never get any better. Here goes nothing. Oof, I was really close. Let me try one more. Oof. All right, third time's the charm, third time's the charm. The wind up and the pitch. Okay, 
One more try and then I'm done. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that, we got it. How cool was that? We actually hit it off of the tee. Wow, hey, that one is the hard as I thought it was. See, if we don't challenge ourselves, then we never get any better. But I, I didn't know if I could do that or not. I tried enough times. I mean, look at how many baseballs are on the ground over there. It took more than once, more than twice, more than three times. But you just keep trying and you get better every time. That was so fun. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, we've had such a blast here at No Limit Cages in Montgomery, Texas, learning all about baseball. I got to do some hitting. I got to do some pitching. We even caught a few balls. This was so much fun. And my favorite lesson of all is that you're never good at something the first time you try it. That's why you gotta try, try, and try again. And eventually with practice, you can get pretty good. So hey, thanks for coming with us on this adventure. And I hope you'll come along others with us too, because we go on a lot of them. But until next time I see you, yeah! Ha! <laughs>